Hi there, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Coach G Show here on FGNights.com. Greg Horenda and the Knights about to get on the bus to travel to Pennsylvania for the two road games this upcoming weekend. Coach, how are you? I'm cold. Me too. You better <laughs> stay warm on that bus. But you know what? This is this is the dog days right now, you know, and I just told my team getting on the bus, you know, it's always darkest before dawn, and we've had, you know, a bunch of tough games, and one game that we thought we won and we didn't, and another game that we were close to grabbing, but it's going to happen, and when it happens, uh, we'll win a bunch of games. But we have to just stay committed to our defense, rebounding, and, and, and run a little bit faster and play a little bit better. Now, I don't want to harp too much on the last two games, but what do you take out of those games against Sacred Heart and LIU Brooklyn? You guys were right there and just couldn't get it at the end. No, you know what? We just got to finish the job, and it's no one's going to hand you a trophy just because you haven't won a game in a while. It's our job to finish the game by getting the shot off earlier, making our layups, and getting crucial rebounds. And, you know, we're getting closer, but we're not um, over the hump. And when, when we do break it, then we're going to get into a – another run here so um, we're just looking forward looking backward right now doesn't help us a whole heck of a lot there's 10 games left uh, it's a 10 game schedule we have five at home and five on the road and we have to go play two really good teams on their floor right now and we've got to face the music and go out there and win one or two of them and that's that's our job you mentioned Robert Morris and St. Francis you both teams you're playing this upcoming weekend what do you expect to see from them yeah, they, well, right now they know that we haven't won a game, so we're going to be hungry. And they, and Robert Morris has won a bunch of games. Now they've won five out of six. But I think now everybody knows everybody in the league. So, uh, you know, last year we played well out here against Robert Morris' zone. We just didn't make shots in the playoff game. And uh, and St. Francis and their building, they're very difficult. So it's you have to play very well for 40 minutes to have a chance to win. We found that out at Sacred Heart. And and uh, the same thing's going to happen at Robert Morris and the same thing's going to happen at St. Francis and the rest of the 10 games that we have left in our conference um, league standings. And, and for us to move up in those standings, right now we're out of the – tournament and that's that that's our goal is to get back into it that's the reality of it we have to deal with it and we have to move uh, forward they mentioned a second season 10 games left to go where do you think the team's mindset is at this point hunger you know hunger obviously you know we started out we were seven and six and two and oh and we've we've lost a bunch in a row and but right now we've got to like i said we have to go forward and win a game and then win two games and 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 just do what we have to do to, to to worry about our mindset is a mistake we have to worry about you know how we're playing and play better and and do it one possession at a time starting on defense of glass and on the defensive end and then run and score and get things going again and that's uh that's what this team has to do this team hasn't been in a lot of experiences you know and, and every one that they've been in they've handled so far now this one they have to handle and get out of and it's really up to the staff but but it's up to the to, to the kids on the floor they've got to you know grow up a little bit and know they have to play tougher and be smarter and make better decisions and and finish it and once they do that we'll continue to do that i'm very confident in my guys and i know they'll bounce back there it's a resilient group a couple of quick sports related questions mike shefsky just gets his 1000th win talk about what he means to college basketball i mean he just he's the standard he's he's the guy that's done it the right way and took over a program where they really really struggled you know so when i'm watching him i watch him when he was at army in the first few years he was at duke uh, people didn't know his name either um, so he's earned everything that he's received and uh, it, it's great for the sport to have when I was growing up it was John Wooden then it was Bobby Knight um, and now it's John uh, it's Mike Krzyzewski so um, he's a special special coach and I think not only the collegians look up to him but I think professional players look up to him and I think people from other sports and other businesses look up to Mike Krzyzewski and uh, he's gotten what he's deserved. Real quick, you picked the Seahawks last week at the Super Bowl. Want to change that, or you still feel confident? Oh, no, no, God, no, <laughs> man. I'll tell you one thing. That here, here's the deal. The, I, the Seattle is fast and athletic and tough. So if they get to Brady, they're going to win the game. If they don't get to Brady, then it's all bets are going to be off. But, you know, right now, uh, you know, with the deflate gate and everything, it's – it's it's kind of ironic that it's happened to them again, and now it's. It, I think it makes this game a better game. But again, whoever deserves it the most will definitely win. And I think uh, last year Seattle gave it to Denver, and similarly, I, I think Seattle could give it to them again. 
Uh, but I think it's going to be a little bit closer, and uh, it, it's going to be a good matchup. But right now I'm concerned with the, the, the Thursday-Saturday game, and the Sunday game isn't as important, but I'm sure it'll be fun to watch. Coach, thanks so much. Good luck as always. John, thank you very much. So the Pennsylvania two-step starts right now. Feel me getting on the bus. <laughs> I'm freezing. I'm out. All right, Coach, you thank you. You this deal. <laughs> so Coach is out Thursday, tomorrow night. Robert Morris. Then on Saturday, St. Francis U. It'll all be on NECfrontrow.com. You can go to FDUnites.com for the latest and up-to-date information on FDU men's basketball.